hello there and welcome back to my youtube channel so today we're going to talk about why i just keep buying gold and i don't care about the gold price um so just a little backstory where are we now so last week so it's been a rocky time for gold in some ways gold's kind of stuck um everyone wants it to really break out of the $1,700 range and just kind of obviously break the all-time high, but, you know, at least break 1800 and look at 1900 It's not happened um, for whatever reason. You know, well, we know why. Uh, well, well, the reason I, my views are that obviously the, well, the U.S. is printing trillions and trillions of dollars and that is obviously you know propping up everything stock market is berserk i mean it's outrageous what's going on there with the stock market i mean how it can be you know showing the results it is when you consider what's going on um so obviously you know um people aren't so um you know fussed about gold maybe you could say gold did climb a bit too hard and a bit too fast you know when it got to 17 mid 17 hundreds and now we're paying the price for that but i do believe that this is just a short-term blip you know and then what they say is buying the dips sell some in the highs but don't sell all of it in the highs because you need some for the high high highs in three to five years time you know when you'll wish you'd bought more now so anyway so i'm going to talk about this pickup um this was a purchase that I made um, early last week, arrived yesterday. Um, kind of strange, really. I got absolutely murdered on this. I paid through the goddamn nose for these. And what we've got here is five Royal Mint uh, Gold Britannias. Yeah. I bought them, sold as seen. Um, I, uh, you know. But just before we go any further, I want to talk about boxes. I never buy boxes. I, my coins are either slabbed or they're in a capsule or wallet or something in a case. But there's no doubt. It's quite nice. When you see something in a box like this and you open it, it actually gives it a ping factor, you know. So I might have to reconsider my thoughts. I mean, it's completely unnecessary to spend money on a, on a, a box. But if it's a half-decent box, it does do some wonders. But yeah, let's get on to actually what we've got here. So there's nothing really groundbreaking here. Um, we've got one. It had we've got one twenty sixteen Britannia quarter ounce, and we've got four twenty seventeen Britannia quarter ounces. Um, and that's ex as exciting as it gets. And I paid, including delivery in this box. Two thousand pounds. Yeah, I paid four hundred pounds a coin pre budget work out. It was something like they were like three hundred and ninety seven pounds thirty eight or something like that. I expect, and basically, they're in a box with delivery and everything as they were like this. Um, I paid four hundred pounds a lot, you know, that's what that's what they were. Um, that was what the price was to buy one individually. It was a box, obviously, somebody brought in. They were like this. I bought the whole lot, and um, I pretty much got like a, I got like a tenner off for delivery. That's all I got. And I worked out that I've actually paid. If I bought this, these five coins about two years ago, I'd have probably got one of these coins for free. And instead, what's happened is I've paid. I've actually. Um, gold's gone up 25% pretty much and I've actually got a coin less you could say um, I should have had six coins for the same money but I'm not bothered I'm not at all bothered you know I've paid whatever it is 23% premium on four coins two ounces sorry not two ounces there's an ounce and a quarter of gold here and basically I've paid two thousand pounds for an ounce and a quarter of gold. Now, at the time, obviously, of buying um, these, I think gold was about uh, 1412 um, And 
and um, you know, one thousand four hundred and twelve pounds an ounce or something like that. Um, and I paid, um, yeah, I basically paid. For, <laughs> I don't even want. I can't even say how much more I've paid over the top premium for that. Uh, it, it's painful. My point is, you can do the maths here. I don't really care. I'm not bothered, and you shouldn't be too worried because I believe that these co this this same set here, five coins, is going to be worth two thousand five hundred pounds in between now. Uh, well, I'd say between now, but between three and five years' time. You know, if I put the same money in the bank, there's not a chance in hell, not a chance in hell, my money would do anything. It really gets on my bloody nerves and people say gold's not an asset oh no you can't do it no there's no good saying that it's not an investment no 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 it is an investment i tell you now i certainly wouldn't be putting my money in bitcoin you can't hack a piece of gold yeah you can't hack a gold bar you can't take somebody's e-wallet um these two coins here i don't know if i just said but i put them at the bottom because i looked at the, these through the loop but you've got um I thought the strikes on these two particularly were in a really, they're really crisp, really deep, um, great detail on the coins. I know they're just bullying coins, they're definitely not, but I just kind of thought, you know, that's that's quite interesting. That almost want to get them slabbed, you know, spend another twenty pounds on that. It's a waste of time. I got to stop telling. What's the point? But there are people selling. Slab bullying on eBay, they're doing all right. So, I mean, you know, maybe I shouldn't, it's not something to be laughed at. But, you know, my other thing that really gets on my nerves at the moment is the, um, this old adage about, yeah, what percentage of your portfolio people should be having? You should only have five or ten percent in gold. Well, I personally think I wouldn't, um, those days are over. You can't print. Trillions and trillions of dolly, dolly, <laughs> dollars, and um, you can't do that. We're going to get some short-term deflation. I think you know the economy. It's pretty clear that it's going to be a bit of a bounce back, probably in the next month or so, when they reopen everything and people got some people got obviously money burned out in their pocket. There'll be some bargains, and they're going to go ape shit and try and um, you know. Um, you know, live the good times again and fair enough you know and then we're probably um gonna have this little mini high and then it's gonna be boom it's gonna tank hard and fast the economy i reckon next year maybe even towards winter i mean christmas might carry us through but um i think this is just a temporary blip in the gold price really i can't see i really can't see things ever going back I reckon the economy's damaged for 10 years, lots of economies. Like I say, short to medium term, I reckon early 2021, things might look on the face of it back to normal, but you know, you've got to think how many businesses have been destroyed. And going back to what I was saying before I forget, I, I, I want 15, 25% of my portfolio now in gold. I'm not buying any more properties, I'm not buying bitcoins, I'm not buying Lego, I'm not buying vintage toys, I'm not buying art. I want gold and I want to have it. I want, I want something I can pick up and feel. It's thousands of years. It's been the currency of the world. You, you know, you can't print this stuff. Um, I believe in it completely now. Um, I'm actually happy that uh, we've got a bit of a dip at the moment because I can just go and buy some more, and um, you know, I'll make up for this paying over through the nose for this. So if the gold price drops for a bit, it's fine. But like I've always said, you can't be in this for the short term. I think that it's painful. Um, if you are, and um, because if you're trying to make money on gold based on performance, you're going to get caught out. I 